What is up YouTube, Skiz1 here, and today we're taking a look at the Pilot Super Color Broad Marker. As always, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Pilot Super Color Broad Marker, and then we're going to go over to our testing area, do some tags, and test the product out. And of course, if you do think these Pilot Markers are worth picking up for yourself, I have a link in the description to the most reliable and fair price place to pick some of these up for yourself if you so choose. So Pilot is a great brand owned by a Japanese company. They make high quality writing implements from fine liners like these, which I do highly recommend by the way, to these nice, wide, fun broad markers. These mini editions are around four US dollars and are a great size for a pocket or pouch. The bigger size of these markers is around seven US dollars and both sizes come in red, blue, and black. These come with a supremely juicy chisel tip nib and great vibrant permanent ink. The markers are a great shape to hold in whichever way you love to do tags. So without further ado, let's test these out and see how they write. We have behind me here a nice glossy finish kind of cardboard. These are gonna write really, really great on any kind of smooth surface like paper, cardboard, plastic, or metal would be a fun one as well. As you can see maybe here, I've used this one quite a bit because I wouldn't really wanna be doing a review without having used a product first. The nib isn't quite as crisp and clean as when it was brand new, but the the nibs hold up fairly nicely. These are so juicy and flow so well from this huge reservoir that you can get nice juicy tags with them even with it being a chisel tip ink marker. So let's get right into it. Give you a right angled look at that one there. So as you can see here, with the nice chisel tips, you can get any kind of lines like the thick, the thin, even on an edge, you can get these nice skinny lines. So you really do have a ton of possibilities with the variety of line size. Now, being that I've used this quite a bit, it honestly is already running a little dry. I have probably thrown down a couple hundred tags with this one already just to play around on some paper because I did want to see how durable the ink is, as in like how long it would last, how much you can actually get out of these mini editions. To be honest, I might almost recommend the uh, longer edition, but this one is a nice fresh one. Haven't used it at all. Let's see how juicy it is. So my overall thoughts on these are just basically that it's a really fun, high quality marker. You take Pilot, a super reputable brand, and have them make something like this, which is meant for fun, and something good happens. That's basically what I have to say about it. It would be nice if they offered these in some more colors, but basically this is a great fun little writing utensil. The chisel tip is a beautiful 
feature. The nib is just the right amount of hardness and softness. It's in that sort of Goldilocks zone of the kind I like, but that's sort of down to personal preference. The price for these, it's not that bad. I'd say overall, I'd give this say like a nine out of 10. Obviously the price could be cheaper as it always can, but is it unfair? In my opinion, not really. And again, this isn't the type of marker you're gonna bring out for any kind of heavy bombing or tagging if you're looking for that kind of material. Obviously I have lots of other reviews of more um, heavy graffiti implements on my channel. I'm sure there's some linked somewhere, but if you're gonna buy this, you should know that this is just a nice, fun writing utensil. Pure and simple, that's what you're gonna get out of it. I'm sure there's all kinds of creative things you can do with it. If you have used these pilot markers, maybe leave a comment saying what you've used them for, what you like using them for, that sort of thing. But that's about it for me. We've got lots more reviews coming. If you want to see your name put up um, in some of these reviews, maybe in a throwy or a tag, leave that in the comments as well and just say you want your name to be put up and in some future reviews I'll try and do some hit offs of some names that you guys leave in the comments. There's a link in the description to where you can pick these up if you do want to get them for yourself. If you're new to the channel this is a review series that we do. We also do a lot of other series like graffiti freight train watching. I showcase a lot of my work on the channel. Feel free to check any of that out on the videos on screen and until my next video Peace.